Hey, it's your Jackie from Hey Jackie Beauty, and today I'm going to be talking about my hair. Now, you guys have seen me do wash and goes, three strand twists, two strand twists, protective styles, all these different things. Yet, I haven't really talked about my porosity, my hair density, my strand thickness, among other things. So, if you want to know more about my hair, then keep on watching. Also, too, I want to make sure I give everyone a chance to join the beauty club and subscribe. I'd love, love, love to have you guys here. And so you can click the subscribe button. I think it is down here, down below. And if it is there, make sure to hit that bell button, too, next to it so that you can get notifications of when I post up videos and not miss out on all this good stuff and all this good content that I'm creating for you guys. So now, about my hair. I decided that I wanted to talk about my hair because... It has been two years since I've gone fully natural. I would say my hair anniversary would be September 5th, which is the day after my wedding. And so to give you a little recap, if you haven't seen my hair journey video, I transitioned for nine months before my wedding. And then the day after my wedding, I wet my hair and chopped off all the relaxed ends. And also kudos to y'all who transitioned for like, what, a year to two to three years from relaxed to natural. I couldn't do it. My hair was driving me nuts. But anyway, since then, I've learned so much about my hair, and the journey has been a very fun and interesting one. I've had my ups and downs, and I think I'm finally getting a nice steady pace to where I'm just going to continue to grow and get better. So let me share with you my discoveries with my hair. So first I'll tell you about my hair, then I'll tell you how I found those things out, and then I will at the end share a few other factors that could help you figure out those things for your hair. So about my hair, my porosity is high, my density is high, my strand thickness is fine, and my hair type or texture is 3C to 4C hair. And so now here I'm gonna talk about how I found out that I was each of those things. So with hair porosity, you can either be high, medium, or low porosity. And what I realized is that my hair constantly needed moisture and it had a hard time holding on to it. And so I did try the strand test where you put a strand of hair in a cup of water and you see whether it stays to the top, goes in the middle, and sinks to the bottom. I believe if it sinks to the bottom, that means you're high porosity. If it floats on the top, it means you're low porosity. In the middle, means that you are medium porosity. But my hair would always float to the top. And I found that after some research online that that test isn't necessarily accurate. And so once I realized that that test didn't really work and other little quizzes online weren't helping me, I actually did the test that Mono's hair talks about, which is taking a strand of your hair and holding the end out so that it's straight. And then between your thumb and your first finger, going from the end of your hair back to your root. And what you're looking for is to feel kind of the texture of that hair strand. And so if it feels smooth, that means that you are low porosity because the hair follicle is shut, or sorry, the hair cuticle is shut. And so if it is medium porosity, you probably feel some bumps. And if it's high porosity, you'll feel a lot more bumps and textures. And so I definitely felt the bumps and the texture and just from that and past experience of just needing moisture in my hair, I realized I was high porosity. And also I'll leave a link to that video up here for you guys to look at, it's very helpful, very resourceful. I highly recommend that you guys just look online and definitely look for people who have gone to school and gotten educated on this to find your information. And so there is a lot of misinformation that kind of floats around and it makes it hard for you to find what works. And so it took me a second even. So I'm hoping to kind of spread the knowledge and also be able to spread accurate information to help you guys. So porosity was that. Density was just people telling me all the time that I had a lot of hair from my mom to hairdressers to friends, people just walking by to say I have a lot of hair. So I just have a lot of hair follicles per square inch or square centimeter. I don't know how you would measure that, but I have a lot of hair follicles on my hair, so I have high density. So you can have high, medium, or low density, kind of the same thing as porosity. And then for my strand thickness, that was just comparison. 
looking at everyone's hair that I can get close to and looking at the strands specifically. So with strand thickness, you can either be very fine, which is very thin, very um, small hair strands, medium, which is kind of, I guess, normal hair strands, and then coarse, which is a very thick hair strand. Coarse does not mean that you have a lot of texture in your hair. Coarse just means that your hair strand is thick. So from looking at other people's hair, comparing them to mine, I realized that I was more along the lines of fine to like medium strand thickness. And then last but not least, my hair type. Honestly, it's very subjective. <laughs> I'm not, you know, gonna sit here and, you know, shout from the rooftops that I'm 3C to 4C and nobody can tell me otherwise. That's just not my gig. I don't know. That's just not how I go about things. My thing is like, I put a range because I have a range of hair textures in my hair. And I've played enough in my hair to know that my hair is not just 4A or 4C or that and that. If your hair is only that type, then claim it and take it. And, you know, run with it. But also realize that your texture or your hair type mostly reflects on the outcomes of your styles, not what products you should and shouldn't be using. The other three factors factor more into that and play that role rather than your hair type and texture. And so I will insert a little video of my hair without any products in it, and it's mostly dry. I would say it's like 75% dry. And so I feel like that I have a 3C-ish type texture in the front of my hair. In the back of my hair, the nape of my neck is a more perfect 4A texture and all the rest is a mixture of 4A through 4C, which I have a higher concentration of probably 4B, 4C hair at the crown of my head. And so I just have different textures in different regions and that just also influences how my hairstyles come out. But the products that I use work on all of my hair textures and types, so. I really enjoy just kind of like using hair products that work for all hair types rather than focusing on just like one because then I would have to use different products for different section and that would just be a ridiculous amount of money to spend on that. So yeah, and also I would like to say it's very subjective. You know, you can give everyone the same picture and they will all have different opinions on what colors it is, what shapes it is, what it looks like, what's going on. So understand that hair it's, it's subjective and so it's not really anything that you need to kind of use to base products on it's just a good thing to know and to like have more information on and so yeah don't be afraid to look at other beauty gurus and people that have different hair textures than you because you just never know what you might learn i learned so much from people who are different than me and it has made the journey so much easier for me and so I hope that you guys can do that and that it makes the journey easier for you or that even that I contribute to that. So last but not least, contributing factors that will definitely change how your hair is. First of all, in general with your hair, what you want to do is to have a good balance of moisture, protein, and elasticity. And so for me, I tend to need more moisture than protein because the oil mixture that I use coconut oil, or the main oil that I use in my mixture is coconut oil. And the coconut oil really helps with your hair protein, so it keeps your hair strong. And also the area that I live in, it's very dry, typically. It's wet, probably in the winter time, but all the other times it's fairly dry air. And so because of that, I can't depend on the weather to give me moisture, so I need to use it in my products. And then elasticity, I feel like in general, we all need to make sure to focus on, because that's where your shrinkage comes in. And so I don't gripe about having shrinkage because that means that my hair is healthy. And so I would say the same thing for other people. If you have a good amount of shrinkage and if your hair, after you pull it out, goes back into its shape, it means that it's happy and it's healthy. And that's a really good thing. And that over time, when you have more length and your hair is heavier, then your hair texture will definitely change and kind of like take different forms. It won't change in the way of like where you'll get a 4A hair turning into like 3A, but it'll change in just its look and everything. It'll still be the same texture. I think that's it. I feel like that's a pretty quick video. But anyway, I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions about my hair or need some help finding out some things for your hair, please let me know. Also know that 
I didn't know these things before I went natural. I knew some of it for my relaxed hair, but really it changes when you go natural. So I had to rediscover everything all anew and it took some time, but all I honestly really knew was just what I felt, which is like I felt my hair would be dry, so I would look for something that moisturized it. And from there, I learned, you know, more about my texture and I learned more about my porosity. I mean, I already said before, I thought it was low porosity when I wasn't. And so it was just trial and error. So feel free to just go through the journey and to learn, ask questions. I'm more than willing to try and answer them and provide resources. I'll try and provide links in the information box for you guys to check out. And yeah, just be as much of a helpful tool for you as I can be. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this one, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let me know and I'll make sure to get those to you. And I believe that is it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Much love. Bye.